there and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a follow-up on my Becca Hydra Mist setting powder ingredient review, which I will put in the info card above. And today I'm going to give you a potential dupe for that product. I'm going to go over the formula and ingredients to this dupe and let you know if I think that this is truly a dupe for the Becca powder. And if you want to see more ingredient focused makeup reviews, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new one. And with that, let us jump into the video. So on Ulta.com, the Revlon Colorstay Aqua Mineral Makeup retails for $13.99, whereas the Becca powder was $38. That's a giant price difference right there. So both of these products both have water as the first ingredient, so it's gonna have similar properties to the Becca one in that regard. This one has mica as the second ingredient, whereas in the Becca powder, it was a dimethicone vinyl dimethicone cross polymer, which means that this product is gonna have a lot more glow shimmer to it, not like glitter, but you're gonna have a more like glowy appearance using this. So if that's not what you're into, you want something that looks more matte, I would go for the Becca powder in that regard. And as I mentioned in the Becca powder, there wasn't a lot of like extracts or anything like that. In the Revlon powder, there's actually coconut water and viola tricolor extract. Both of these things could potentially be allergens for somebody, so that's something also to keep in your mind. So this product also has laurel lysine in it, which is derived from coconut oil. And this is gonna help bind the powder together a little bit better, as well as the boron nitrate. In the previous powder, there wasn't a whole lot of these kind of extra ingredients. I mentioned there's only really five categories where this one has a very large variety of ingredients. And for the most part, everything else in this formula looks pretty standard. Silicones, pigments, preservatives, nothing super out of, nothing, nothing really extra other than those extracts. So I think the Revlon powder is a dupe in comparison to the Becca powder in terms of what this product is going to do. And the things that are in it are both gonna help set and refresh your makeup. I think this is gonna act as a good refresher powder. I don't know so much about setting because again, that water is gonna take away some of the pigment. The extra pigment in this Revlon powder may counteract any removal of pigment. So maybe that's an upside if you're looking into this powder. But overall, if you're looking for a powder that you can use in the middle of the day to set your makeup, I would say this is a really, really good dupe and I would purchase it if that were the case. And if you like this video and found it informative, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these type of videos. And make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll always be notified when I upload a new one. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!